So let's start with adjusting the legend. First of all, what is the legend? If you look at the legend here, you can see this is our legend. And our legend helped basically to clarify our chart. However, sometimes not necessary. So for example, if I'm going to hover over here, you can see these values here. And you might question why should I have this? Because maybe you have a title here saying uh, profit for the month or sales of the month. So you probably don't need this. So let's start and look what we can do with the legend. I'm going down here, scroll down here on our uh, documents. And in the documents of Chart.js, you can see here we have here the legend. Let's click on this one and we can see here what's all possible. So first of all, where do we put in the legend? So if we go in here, you can see here, I will just close all of these later on. Uh, well here we have our items and in the options, we can start to do some configurations to adjust our legend. And we're going to work on this a lot. So let's click on this and let's first hide it. So maybe you say, well, we don't need the legend here because this legend is not necessary if we know what's the title of our chart. So let's look at this. All right, so we have this one here and I'm going to just move it up so we can click this quickly. Then let's start and do display none, we're going to legend. So you can see here the information here. So basically in the options, we're going to put in legend. And so to target the legend and then from the legend, we have display true false so if you can see here you can see this is the name then you have here the type or basically this is the property name and then you have here the type so what is the input type and it's boolean boolean basically means one or zero or yes no true false in our case true or false let's put it on false to hide our legend so what we have to do is we type in here legend and in here we have the same uh, curly brackets in here and then we say here display and then we say false let's put in a comma here and then save this so once we save this and going back here we can refresh this and now you can see we hide our legend and this is really the first step as you can see here now you can start to understand more of it because now if you understand how to hide it like true or false that's the input you also can probably work with this. So let's work more with that in the next video. So this is the first, this first part, this is how you hide it or show it.